Uh, hospital porters pride and dignity stop the new world order welcome to Panwo TV I was just watching an interesting guy who's the next speaker on the list from an American called Paul Burley talking about sacred geometry and he's identified a new form of sacred geometry and uh, this is by most by stepping up a dimension into three-dimensional into a three-dimensional realm he's discovered this by looking at these Bedison wheels in, in the USA which are circles with two crosses inside and one diagonal one vertical and he said that this actually represents he said if you you can actually turn this into a sphere with two basic Pisces and um, it forms um, he's found how it it's sort of like I didn't get all of it, what he said. He was, I didn't follow everything he said, but it blends into everything that connects to other sacred pieces of sacred geometry. I was just saying to James that, you know, you can't... Sacred geometry is a whole subject in itself. Yeah. So, unless you're really interested in it and you understand the mathematical constructs behind it, I don't think you're probably going to grasp the implications of what I mean. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's quite tricky, but I mean... The idea that higher dimensions, you know, could, the, the two-dimensional objects or lower dimensions, sig you know, signify something a dimension higher, is common in um, Native American culture. For instance, um, Teotihuacan, this great monument in Mexico. So everything three-dimensional signifies four dimensions. Everything two-dimensional signifies three dimensions. Things like that. Um, the same shapes keep coming up again and again all over the world. Diamonds. Um, spheres and it's like oh thank you <laughs> um, excuse me a moment <laughs> sorry I won't tempt you again <laughs> 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 excuse me <laughs> shut it up <laughs> the band is still here I'm still playing <laughs> You see the lady on the bike there? That is just, she's wearing typical Glastonbury clothes. Brightly coloured kind of um, hippie clothes. <laughs> um, anyway, you get the same thing in Malta with the Maltese temples that they've built. They have these curves and graceful curves. What time is it? We've got, we've got to be back by quarter to five. We've got to get back. I'll have to talk more about this later.